Hello. It's the 17th of April. What is today? Wednesday. And uh, some friends have asked uh, if we're still in the land of the living. And so, yeah, it's been a while since I got out a video report. But it's been pretty, uh, pretty, pretty busy. <laughs> so, so I figured I would uh, take advantage of what was a window uh, without rain. But it's starting to drizzle. So I don't know. This may get shorter than, than I had even planned for it to be. But anyway, here's a little bit of an update. Thank you for those of you who watch this because that usually means you pray for the ministry. And if you do, then you are or you have a part in the many, many things that God is doing, the the tremendous blessings that we're seeing both in the church uh, planning ministry there in the, in the Living Hope Baptist Church, but also here at the farmhouse where I've come up now and uh, just there's a, a lot of opportunities to serve to serve the the believers and so it's uh, it's it, it's being a very a very full uh, spring and at this point somewhat of a rainy one uh, so anyway we had great services on Sunday my goodness, all the stars aligned, I guess, or the planets or something, because we had 22 visitors. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there was a couple of special things, but still, that was a lot of visitors. And there are so many children here recently that Danny, Danny gave an announcement on Sunday, our son, for an impromptu children's church, just so that some of the adults that... Uh, normally wouldn't have an opportunity, could listen to the, to the message uh, without distraction. And we could also uh, attend to the children. It's such a, such a critical need that these children who are growing up in such a godless society um, six days out of the week, you know, and many of them are in uh, homes that are just, just anything but anything but Christian, that we give them some clear teaching of the truth, you know, and seeing them hopefully come to Christ. And so as you pray, pray for us that we'll have wisdom. We always have that, there's always that that complicated balance and decision of of trying to get, trying to decide who of the believers, the the adult believers, can be pulled away from the good teaching that they need to serve in the the ministry now with with children and juniors and and the young people there's just so much so much need for for servants you know for teachers and for for believers to to uh, to help and yeah sometimes it's like oh man I hate to take them away from what they really need to be getting fortunately with uh, YouTube and videos we're able to do you know some of that can happen because they can see it afterwards but it's not the same at any rate uh, at church we're we're planning on baptisms on the 8th of June still a little bit of ways out we've got four four adults lined up and oh my, I look at those, uh, each of them, and each one of them is a completely unique story of grace. And wish we could share all of those and catalog them and you know, record them because, because God is doing uh, so much in these different individual lives. And I'm sure where you are as well, what a, what a God we serve. And it'll be a fascinating day when we can uh, for that eternal day, be able to go back and see all of these wonderful stories of grace, of God working in the unique lives of so many people. So that's coming up. Uh, some of you have prayed for and asked for, uh, or asked about Ariel, the young man who has been doing some work for us here at the farmhouse. Uh, he's doing much better in the last few months uh, with his background of alcoholism and so forth so continue to pray for him a-r-i-e-l is his the way you spell his name and he's a good worker good worker does a ton of work here at the farmhouse it's just just helps us hugely i'm walking i'm gonna walk all the way down towards the green gate that way you get a little bit of scenery along the way um and so thank you for praying for him we had visitors we've had visitors the last couple of weeks from vitoria almost an hour away 
We have prayed for years to be able to start a Bible study and eventually a church in, the, in Vitoria, one of the capital cities of the Basque Country, uh, the province of Alava. And we have a lady who comes. We've told you about her, sh shared you her picture uh, in the past, Esther. And so we have some people coming now who are driving that distance because they couldn't find any other church. And I don't know, I, I met with them. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the two brothers that I met with. We're just hoping to meet their needs now spiritually. Uh, and and they're, they're, there's tremendous needs, but tremendous stories as well of what God has already done. Maybe they will end up being part of the the story of a new of a new church. Uh, that's that's down the road, but it well could be. The Lord loves to surprise. I know that. And when surprising things happen, many times it's the Lord doing them. So, uh, at any rate, pray for them. Their names are Juan and Camilo, two brothers. Juan uh, is married. That's a story. And his wife had two children, two two. Uh, beautiful little girls, and we'll see. The Lord continues that work. We'll we'll have quite the story to share with you later on. Then we have here at the farmhouse. Let me go down this way. In oh two weeks, I guess almost on the fourth, we have our next intensive institute, number fifty nine. It'll be the second part to the Book of Exodus, taught by our friend Alfredo Caravaca from Barcelona. Looking forward to those five hours and uh, being able to serve the believers and give them another opportunity to learn more about the scriptures. Then we are planning a men's retreat, a work retreat here at the farmhouse in la later, latter part of June. All the ladies, the ladies are getting together a ladies meeting for middle of May or so. But I don't know too much about that right now. But the, the men were wanting to have another workers, a work, men's work retreat. We did it 10 years ago and they helped us cut and split and stack a ton of firewood. And we have a bunch of jobs. And so we'll be inviting them over and, uh, to come from wherever they can come from, our church people, our church men and some from, uh, from the area or even other parts of Spain. And, uh, they will help us do all this work and we'll feed them well. And then our friend Tim Darling from Logroño, an hour and a half away from here, is going to bring some good uh, messages for men, for the men. So we hope to give them a, a great, uh, a great short little retreat uh, with uh, and get some work done as well. <laughs> we just said goodbye yesterday to, no, yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning to, hang on, I need an extra hand or two here. Uh, we said goodbye to Robert and Audrey Horn. Um, Robert is on staff at Calvary in Simpsonville and they are going to be bringing a youth team in July. But he was able to come with his wife and to visit us for a few very quick, intense lightning days, but they were wonderful <laughs> and they've, they're already back home. And we just had a great time with them. Uh, they're a, a couple, you know, uh, brings back such memories of when we were that young, <laughs> had all that energy and ideas. And anyway, it was a, it was a, a blast to be with them. And so we're looking forward to seeing that, uh, having that team here later on in July. And then I think I'll end with, the uh, in the month of May I'm going to be I'm going to be out 3 weeks I'm going to visit mom and dad and looking forward to it it's been a year since I was there and uh so they're not getting any younger and I want to take advantage of the opportunity so I'm going to uh slip out of here and let my coworkers uh cover all of the cover all of the ministry goings on here and spend some time with mom and dad there in Washington state Okay, I think, let me see, I may, I don't know, I may or may not add a tiny little bit of video of the church singing on Sunday.
Okay, I am right in the middle of the landslide, which is starting to turn green and doesn't pretty soon. You won't really know there was a landslide here unless you saw the pictures and video. Uh, okay, I'll let it go. One more thing. If you have never read or heard of the story of how God gave us that building over there, that farmhouse, that old Basque 300-year-old farmhouse, if you've never read the story or heard of it, I'm going to give you the name of the book and you can buy it on Amazon. I recommend it. Not because I wrote it. It's not my story. It's God's story. And it's not my farmhouse. It's his farmhouse. And uh, it is his ministry. And we have the privilege, Mimi and I and, all, and my co-workers and others have the privilege of, of serving here and watching God do wonderful, wonderful things in the lives of people, both from our area here, as well as people who he brings from other parts of the country and other parts of the world. So if you'd like to uh, read that very unusual story, we call it the Ayer the Miracle then you can uh, find it on on Amazon it'll be in if you're on if you have prime you'll get it in a couple of days and i think you'll enjoy it doesn't take long to read but it'll you'll end up praising the lord for for his wisdom and his power and his his ability to do amazing things so i'll let it go at that take care god bless you thanks for listening bye